My name is Richard Heckert. I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist at BayCare Eye Specialists in Green Bay. Amblyopia is a condition in which uh, one eye, or occasionally both eyes, don't see up to that eye's fullest potential. And that's as a result of abnormal visual experiences early in childhood. The general public frequently use the term lazy eye to mean an eye that drifts, but that's not the definition that eye care professionals use. What we're talking about is this condition, amblyopia, where the vision is not up to its full potential. And it does not imply that there's any kind of drifting or eye misalignment. It just says the eye doesn't see as well as we would expect it to. There are really three major causes for amblyopia. It's really diagnosed by a, a thorough eye exam. Um, so the key in a child who is old enough to read the eye chart is to have them read the eye chart. If they don't know their letters, we may have them do either illiterate ease, where they point which way the ease are directed, or, or we commonly use a series of pictures that are usually common objects that, that children would know the name of. And particularly in young children, it may not be the absolute visual acuity measurement that is our tip off to amblyopia, but the difference between the two eyes. So if one eye reads substantially better than the other, we would suspect that that eye was amblyopic. We would then involve an uh, examination to see if the eye was physically normal, as well as measuring their eyeglass prescription to see if that's the reason why they're not seeing well. If after examining them, we don't, we find that they don't read the eye chart to the level that we would expect based on the examination, then we conclude that they have amblyopia. Usually their pediatrician or family doctor will screen uh, for evidence of amblyopia early on, say at six months of age. Uh, that screening may involve uh, looking with uh, a light and making uh, the eyes glow like an animal's eyes caught in the headlights of a car. And if they were to see either it was very dull in one eye or there was an asymmetry between the two eyes, that could be uh, a tip off that something's not right. As they get older, uh, they can have them read the eye chart in their office. Additionally, frequently preschools and kindergartens will have vision screenings where they have volunteers read the eye chart. And more commonly today, a number of primary care offices now have types of photo screening devices that will similarly basically look at that red reflex, the image uh, bouncing off the eye, and can, uh, there are fairly sophisticated programs that can estimate their eyeglass prescription and also estimate whether their eyes are straight or not. The age of diagnosis is actually critically important. Uh, in very young children, uh, their visual system is not very mature and they can develop amblyopia very rapidly. But the plus side of that is that the treatment can also uh, improve their vision very rapidly. As children get older, uh, their visual system becomes more resistant to the treatment, as does their behavior. And uh, so it can take a lot longer to try and correct their vision. And they can reach a certain age where additional attempts to try and improve their vision just don't work.